swag. Yo, it's Yeti. That way. <laughs> what up, gang? Welcome to the tutorial. Welcome back. It's been a minute since I did one of these shits. So today, this split tee. Only difference is instead of the single split tee, today we're gonna be making the triple split tee. So we're gonna be combining three t-shirts into one t-shirt. Hit the intro. I don't know who I'm telling to hit the intro. I'm gonna be the one editing this bitch. Um, hit the intro, Jonas from the future. Got you right now, Jonas from the past. Welcome to tutorials. Welcome to to welcome to tutorials with Jonas King. I right, so boom, check it out, yeah. I got these three shirts from the boys, Human Internal Revival, and basically you're gonna start by just ironing the middle shirt. So whichever one you want to use, the middle of the three um, is the one you're gonna iron first. And then I marked three and a half inches from the sleeves onto the shoulder seam. And on the bottom, like by the waist opening, I marked four and a half inches from both the sides. And the reason I marked an inch more on the bottom is because on the top, if you can see how the sleeve kind of curves inwards, and so it's like an inch closer to the middle than the bottom edge is. I don't know if that really made sense, but just trust me. And then just mark a line connecting those two on both sides um as you can see me doing right here and then just do the same thing on the other side then you're going to take pins and just pin along the inner edge of that line that you just marked and that's to make sure that the bottom layer doesn't move while you're cutting it and then go ahead and cut it after you're done cutting it you can decide what you're gonna do with those sleeves you can maybe sew them onto another shirt or you can throw them away or you can cut them up and make confetti and make it rain inside of your room you can really do whatever you want um for both the sleeves pieces sleeve pieces for both the sleeve pieces we only need one sleeve so you only have to iron half the shirt and then i marked a half an inch more than I did on the original piece, um, just to account for seam allowance and stuff. I wasn't really thinking about it that much, but I was just like, I should probably add a little bit more. So I did five inches on the bottom and four inches on the top, and then I connected those and cut it off on both sides. And make sure you don't cut the same side um, of both the colors. Make sure you cut one side is the right side and one side is the left side. And there I dropped my pencil case and all the shit fell out and it was really annoying to clean up but basically I decided that since this is technically human internal revival 250 collab I had to make it a little bit more interesting so this isn't a necessary step for you but I wanted to make it a little more interesting so I went and sewed some of the human internal revival pieces from the leftover shirts onto the one that I was making onto the middle piece before I sewed the two outer pieces on together. And this is me starting to sew the two edges on together. So I started by pinning the shoulder pieces together of the white sleeve piece and the middle piece. Um, make sure you pin them right side to right side. So the sides that you're gonna want facing out, um, when you're done sewing, you want those to be facing each other when you pin them and then just pin along that whole entire scene. I think it's more fun if I do the voiceover live. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the black thread on this bitch. There's like a bee flying. Oh, it's a fly. I think it's dumb as fuck that it's called a fly. Cause everything that flies could be called a fly. But why is that one called a fly? Once you have the needle there sewing, it kind of like, even if it curls on top of it, the needle kind of yeah. uncurls it for you. So, you don't have to stretch about Southern, it too much. Like, you no. see how it's curled here? Southern, Once I go with the needle, it kind of straightens it out. The thing with this super thin fabric is it doesn't really fray that crazy. So you don't have to zigzag it. I would recommend zigzagging it or surging it if you have a serger, but you don't have to. I probably should have did a half an inch seam allowance, but I'm doing a quarter of an inch because fuck you. So yeah, go all the way to the end, backstitch at the beginning, which is backstitching if 
you don't know what backstitching is, it's basically at the beginning of your seam, you go forwards and backwards once or twice, and then at the end of the seam, you also go forwards and backwards once or twice, and it just kind of locks the stitch in place. And then you're gonna repeat the exact same steps for the other side, and sew it on, and then you're gonna be done. If you gangster like me, bro, you don't even use pins. You just fucking hope it works out. You get to feel cool while you're doing it. It's like, you know how, fuck. You know how Hove doesn't write down his lyrics, he just fucking goes in the booth and raps them. That's how I am with clothes. I don't do sketches. I don't pin my shit. I just have the idea in my head and then make it. And then when I'm making it, I don't even make sure it's lining up. I just go for it. And sometimes it doesn't work and I have to take it apart and do it again. And that's really annoying. But I think it's an important part of my design process because it allows me to just like go crazy and have like a super free vibe around it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been finished this sometimes. For example, if I'm sewing a waistband in or like around the cuffs and it's like elastic, I have to pin it because it's stretchy. I'll pin that because otherwise it'll get pretty fucked up. That way, go that way. But anyway, that's gonna be that on the video, guys. Thank you for fucking with me. Here's this shirt. Let me put the camera down a little bit because it has a thing here too. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it fantastic? Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it majestical? Um, Check out the back. Human Internal Revival logo on the back. This is gonna be for sale on my website in a day or two. If you wanna cop it, swag. Yeah, customs always going crazy. Go fuck with Human Internal Revival and them over there doing their thing. It's literally like two in the morning. Anyway. Yeah, it was Yeti. That way. All right, I'm gonna put this away. I'm having too much fun.